are with online coverage of the first LSX shootout. I'm wandering around the pits, and I find George Ramora, general manager of Cook's Custom Headers. George, what are you doing? How you doing, Lou? Long time no see. So far, great event. Can't be any happier with the turnout. Bunch of cars here. I mean, the LSX shootout, as far as the turnout so far, there's got to be 60 cars out there, which I'm just overly joyed about. I knew this was going to be a good event because, I mean, based on our demographics, on what product sells, about 35 to 40 percent of our products is based around LS1 powered cars. I mean, that's pretty much our biggest seller with the Corvettes, the Camaros, the Firebirds, Cadillac CTSV, and pretty much anything with the LS1 power, we make a header for. Um, I mean, it's a great event. I think this thing's going to be great. I think this is actually going to continue the fast LSX. I think it should be incorporated into the NMCA. Maybe make it, you know, its own separate class with two classes because a lot of cars out there, a lot of guys making them go fast. With the new LSX block from General Motors, 454 cubic inch small block is not uncommon anymore. I mean, it's almost a common trait now. And now they're coming out with the tall deck, too. So, I mean, it, the possibilities are going to be endless. And, we, you know, we're just doing it. We're taking one problem out of the equation by building a, a you know, a, pretty much a custom header right out of the box, right off the shelf. So that's a big thing is the exhaust. You could do an engine swap and a motor swap. If you don't have the correct exhaust to put on it, the right header and so on and so forth, you're diminishing power. So why build such a large motor? So, I mean, that's what we do. We came out with headers now. The guys run them on the 454 LSX blocks. We make them now with the deep port flange for the guys that are putting the LS7 motors in the F bodies and putting the LS7 motors in the C5 Corvettes. We came out with a header for everything now. So we have a header that will cover pretty much all your needs, and it's a custom header, but you're not bringing it to a shop. You're actually pulling it out of a box, putting it on a car, and it's not a header. We don't. The headers aren't engineered just to say you have a header on your car. The headers are engineered to fit on the car but make also the most horsepower we can make. So you're kind of getting the best of both worlds. A lot of the other companies out there, the largest diameter header you can buy is an inch and three-quarter. Inch and three-quarter is not going to work on a 454 cubic inch. You need an inch and seven-eighths step to two-inch or a two-inch header. I mean, that's one of the great things. That's why we do what we do, and that's why we strive and try to be the best at what we do. All of our product, 304 stainless steel, which is almost a surgical grade stainless steel, so it's all 304, no 409, none of that stuff. We figured if you're going to be the best, use the best materials, it's just going to carry your product that much further. So that's what we decided to do, and we've been doing it for over 45 years now. Our dad started the company, our bro my brother, and he took it and he ran with it. And I mean, we're tickled to death with this whole shootout that's going on right now. So, George, with all that said, sure. what new products do you have coming out for the guys running the LS1? You said you've got the D Ford flanges sure. and all that. Sure. What do you got for that 454 take, to let it breathe? Take a walk over here, Lou. I'll show you real quick. All right, what we got here is this is our new 2-inch header for the F-body cars, the Camaros and the Firebirds. A lot of these guys are building these 454s, spraying the hell out of them, supercharging them. They need a big primary tube header. Right. So we came out with a 2-inch. This is our 2-inch race style header for the LS1. And like I said, the guys are doing the LS7 motors, taking the 427 LS motors, bringing them up to 440 cubic inches, so on and so forth. Right here we have the 2-inch LS1 race header, but with a deep port flange. Now, the deep port flange actually matches the deep port head on the LS7. So there's no, no interference with scavenging of the exhaust. There's no reversion of the exhaust. It's actually a port-matched header. And then it goes down into the three and a half inch collector, and of course we have X pipes to match it, Y pipes to match it for the Firebirds and the F body cars. We have Y pipes from three and a half all the way up to four inches. So there really is no limitation as far as the exhaust. Honestly, what I usually tell the guys, make as much power as you possibly can want to make, we'll have an exhaust for it. So there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You're going to get all the exhaust gases out of the motor most efficiently as way as possible. So this is the new product that we brought out. One of the guys actually running the product this weekend is Steve Reinhardt. He's the winner of the Pump Cash Drags this year in 07. Um, don't know what he's going to do out here this weekend. I'm sure he's going to be a contender like he always is. But he's running our new 2-inch. He said from the inch and 7 8 step to 2-inch to the straight 2-inch header, he picked up about 7 foot-pounds of torque and 22 horsepower on his particular motor. So that's found power. You know, that's easy found power by just doing an exhaust change. We also brought out some of our C5 product. Our stepped headers, our inch and 7A step to 2 inch headers, our C5 headers with the deep port flange for the guys that are taking C5 Corvettes, putting the new Z06 LS7 motor in. We already make a header for them, so there's no reversion at the flanges or anything. It's a true deep port flange. So, well, I mean, it's working out. We couldn't be any happier. We really couldn't be any happier. Well, there it is. You heard it at the LSX shootout. These guys, Cooks, one of the sponsors, along with Pro Pistons, 
they've got the they've got the whole field covered with 49 and 50 percent of your consumers running their product. Can't beat that. Check online, you'll see more. 